What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the 7 Up Saying YouTube channel. I'm your host. My name's Zach. Uh, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. But today we have a little bit of problem with my quick jacks. Uh, and if you all haven't seen my set of quick jacks, they are right here, right behind me, holding up my car. And they have been holding my car up for... I don't know, maybe like a week or two because we have a little problem with my nozzles or did with this one and that one. See, maybe focus. There are O-rings down inside of here. And well, mine, they broke and came off. And I just replaced them. Now, if you look over here, we have some O-ring sets. And I tried these. I went from that one to that one. They didn't work. They were just they were just too big. They're too fat. So then I went, and I think this set is the this is the metric set. I went over and used stand the SAE and used this one zero one two, which would be I guess a three eight. And I put that one in there, and I haven't tried them out yet. It took me a minute to get it because you got to kind of wedge the. You gotta wedge this down and hold it to get mess with this, the O-ring. So it took me a little while, but I did get it. I might set up the bipod and show you all how to do it with the uh, the other one inside the garage. All right, so right here we have one of the male end connectors. First thing is get your O-ring. around the tool you're going to be using and all I did was take the tool and I put it inside and after that take your fingers it works sometimes Sometimes it pops out. Get the O-ring down inside and take a tool like this. And guide it in the place. You can see the O-ring in there. And we're trying to just Guide it up in there. We look, and we got an O-ring in there. Now uh, we're going to Teflon the ends and put them back on and see if this fixed our issue. Alright, I just pulled this piece of O-ring out of one of my couplers. This one right here, it was kind of wedged. It was wedged like right in that little gap right here. Alright everybody, it's the moment of truth. Let's see if let's see if we fixed it. Well we still have some dripping going on, but Now, 
I think I can hear some bubbles coming out of the lawn. Probably if I put new o-rings on it one more time I will probably go with the 110s it's a little bigger of a uh, of an o-ring it is that one they're a little bit fatter so I might have better luck with this one but I'm gonna do it after I mess with my car <clears throat> but that is it for today's video it was just a little quick tip on if you're having problems with your quick jacks like when you're pushing them in it feels like you got to use he-man force to get them together and on my mine my o-rings actually ripped out and were cut and all messed up so right there is a quick little tip for everybody out there who buys quick jack i hope everybody enjoyed today's video please leave a like comment and subscribe uh, and also hit the notifications bell so you can get updated on every time that I upload a new video to the channel. Alright guys, peace out. Have an awesome day.